Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Yeah, we're at the Effort Affair, you got the games. Look at these guys trying to win a few goldfish. You're going to take them home and uh, we'll never see that goldfish again, will we? Anyway, you got the food, got a lot of folks. I'll tell you, it's really gotten a lot more people here on Main Street in Effort. Uh, now, a lot of them are asking, is it going to rain tonight? I think we're good for the parade for Ephrata and all around the Susquehanna Valley. Let's check it out and see what's going on for today. First of all, satellite loop uh, showing in the radar all together, showing some rain, but well off to the south of us still. A lot of it down toward the outer banks and high pressure to the northeast is squeezing the, that rain and bringing it a little farther to the north. Temperatures uh, across the area, Gettysburg right now at 66 degrees, Harrisburg coming up to um, 72 degrees right now, Chambersburg at 67. Let's go to the predictor and let's see how fast that rain is going to get here. Looks like it starts arriving in southern counties around midnight. Don't be surprised, parts of York and Lancaster County, 10, 11 o'clock, you start to feel a little bit of light rain. But again, I think for the most part, for evening activities, you're in good shape. Temperatures will start falling into the 50s as the heavier rain arrives, especially in the eastern counties, into tomorrow morning. Then the rain will taper off to showers tomorrow afternoon. A little bit of drizzle, too. Still a kind of a cool, breezy day. The winds may start to uh, diminish as we go through the afternoon. Then as we get into Friday, looks like the clouds start to break up, and, yeah, we got a pretty good afternoon. I think we're back up into the 70s by Friday afternoon. Looking live right now on a sky cam from Harrisburg. A little, little gray, a little overcast. The yeah, sun's still trying to peek through, but having a tough time. Those clouds are going to continue to go. Here's the forecast as we go through the evening hours again. That rain will probably hold off for the most part. A little breezy, a little cool in the 60s. Then overnight tonight, that rain comes in, and it starts getting heavier a little later on tonight especially. And then into tomorrow morning, it's still, I think the morning commute is still pretty wet, and the rain starts to taper off as we go into tomorrow afternoon. I may even see some sun break out in western counties as we get late in the day. Uh, but the seven-day forecast shows that, that um, as we go into the weekend, it's going to feel like summertime again. I think we're up near 80 degrees each of the days in the weekend. Still pretty nice into Monday. We'll watch maybe, maybe for some more rain as we get later on into the middle of next week. Timing on that still to be worked out, so stay tuned. But all in all, pretty good weekend coming our way. Ryder is our kids' art artist for tonight. First grader from Park Hills Elementary School. Shows a, a thunderstorm over Ryder's house. Well, I don't think we're going to get any thunderstorms this evening. It'll be later on tonight, but thank you, Ryder, for that. Uh, and our Weather Watcher umbrella winner is Tara Salden from, appropriately enough, from Africa. How about that? So